Okay, so on today's tutorial, I'm going to introduce an application called Google Earth Engine. This platform is powered by Google for processing geospatial data. When you pull up the website after you search it on Google, this is what it looks like. And let's go to some facts about it. So Google Earth Engine is a platform for scientific analysis and visualization of geospatial data sets for academic, nonprofit, business, and government use. It is often used by scientists to analyze geospatial images, so these images of Earth's surface, and produce analyses for purposes ranging from disease risk mapping, global water supply tracking, coastline changes, glacial changes, fault line risk, basically anything that you can think of with geospatial data. This is why it's a really good platform for high school students and beyond, especially in geography, computer, or science classes where they can produce their own study and utilize the um, data sets that are already available. So there's so many imagery data sets on here and you can view all these data sets and use them for producing your own analyses. So many scientists have to collect these data and on Google Earth Engine, it's already available for you. So you can do a lot of scientific analyses with these. And in these classes, you can also learn essential skills that you'll use in the future, such as JavaScript coding, making a scientific research project, etc. And what's so useful about this site is that it's free. So let's go back home. You can sign up. All you need is permission by explaining what you're doing. So if you're a high school student, you just say, I'm a high school student, so I want to learn how to analyze geospatial imagery using JavaScript coding. And it already has the preload data sets, like I said. It has examples and extensive forums. So for instance, let's go back, Google Earth Engine, and then Code Editor. So this is where you actually do the analyses. It's on the JavaScript Code Editor, which looks like this. And then from here, you don't really know what to do if you've never used JavaScript before. Even if you have, this is a new platform. So what you do to find coding and examples on how to code, you go to the user's guide. And from the user's guide, I like to start off with getting started. And from here, it will show you step-by-step -step how to do coding and give you a specific example. Okay, so from here, we'll copy some of these scripts. And now we've actually added data to the map. So we'll scroll out and see the image that's been added here. And then if you work through this whole example, it will show you how to um, manipulate this image and actually perform an analysis. So how we got, let's run that. So once again, how we get to the help and how to learn about actually using the script editor is go up to the help tab and then go to user guide. And from here, it will teach you basic analyses and etc. And then you can explore data catalogs to actually load data into it if you want to look at specific things. So there's a lot of useful things that you can use from here. If you go to edu, it has labs so teachers can actually use this to teach their students how to use Google Earth Engine. So this is a really useful tool for teachers if you want to actually teach them JavaScript editing and Google Earth Engine. And then there's also tutorials. So you can watch all these tutorials on how to use it. And that's why Google Earth Engine is a really good tool for starting to learn both JavaScript and geospatial analyses for creating your own research. 